surrendering to you. Now you tell me whatever you should do. Fully surrendered. Then Krishna opened mouth. You are fool number one. If Krishna told the same thing in the first chapter, then Arjuna started arguing with Krishna. It is not preaching of Bhagavad Gita. It is arguments only. Oh, you also have relatives. Will you fight with? Still, Arjuna says, Will you fight with uh, your grandfather Ugrasena? You are asking me to fight with Vishma. <laughs> Krishna says, Arjuna does that point. Krishna doesn't speak. But Arjuna, he surrenders then. Beautiful man. Then the preaching starts. So the first preaching is Krishna is telling you are not the body or spirit soul. Throughout our life, we will not realize. I wish I could be taller. And I, I, I wish I could be more, you know, more colorful. I wish I could have good hair. <laughs> or like Americans. You know, we are a college body person, right? There are 16 more chapters to go. Krishna told. The first application we are not ready to listen. In implement. Then Bhagavatam starts. First canto, second, third, fourth, second, fifth, ninth, Amrish Maharaj. Means their pure devotion you will see. Then comes the tenth candle. Then comes the trees, cows, friends. Then comes Mother Yashoda. Means this is all pure devotion. Then comes gopis. Means that is higher than Mother Yashoda's law. Then comes Mother So we are not ready for 2.1 of Bhagavad Gita. We are discussing tenth candle. Uh, 27th chapter. Simple thing I can tell you, Radharani is the concert of Krishna, that's it. She is a, like Mother Lakshmi, goddess of fortune. You know, money. She is Adhishtana Devata for Lakshmi, money, cash. Likewise, Radharani means goddess of devotion. No one can... Uh, there is a book by name Bhaktira Samrath Sindhu. Bhaktira Samrath Sindhu, um, pure bhakti is real. And who is that? There is always a, a dipati for bhakti. You know, money, health, health surya. Money, mother Lakshmi. Education, mother Sarasana. Likewise, for bhakti, there was a question to you was what happened to her after Krishna went to Dwarka. Because there is no knowledge. She had no knowledge. Because there are no stories of uh, Radha Adi after uh, you know, Krishna went to Dwarka. She was in Dwarka. She was in Dwarka. You can't understand. I am sorry to miss it. Uh, from uh, you know, I heard that from 64 times it has been reduced to 16 times. What? Japa. Uh. Why did it stop at 16 times? Why not 20? Why not 18? Why not 10? Uh, what is the significance of this 16? Uh, you know, why why should one do for the 16 times? Acharya Purusha Veda. Bhagavad explains. Scripture says, "No, it is not in Bhagavad." Acharya, he can, they are like a push, personification of Vedas. Prabhupada came to America and said, 64. <laughs> 32. After some very difficult problem. And half of say 32, 16. Prabhupada made it. Actually, Bhaktisiddhanta Shtaka is Guru Maharaj. It was there actually, not that Prabhupada introduced. If you are a young man, for you to take initiation from Bhaktivedanta Sarishtakur, there are two ways. If you are very old, retired, then every day chant 64 rounds. I am honest with you, if you chant 64 rounds, you will go back to Krishna this left. For sure. If you are old man, chant 64 rounds, then you will be initiated. You are a young man, like your family, you are working. So, chant 16 rounds and preach Bhagavad Gita. Prabhupada took the second portion. He understood the mission has to be spread. So, he gave 16 rounds 
and then preach Bhagavad Gita, he told little to everybody. <coughs> so whenever Prabhupada would give initiation, he would take vows, I'll chant 16 rounds every day. Immediately Prabhupada would say, minimum. That is not maximum. In our case, Bhavate. I have to chant 16 rounds. <laughs> One round, two rounds, three, seven, nine, Amaya. The pendulum shifted on the other side. <laughs> Thirteen, oh, very good. Fifteenth round, tears are coming. <laughs> Why? Sixteenth round is going on happy. Why? No need to touch the bead back till 24 hours. <laughs> and here nobody knows. I don't think anybody is standing here. <laughs> But, but uh, as you keep on doing it, you get used to it. It's basically priorities, right? You have no problem watching movie for three hours. But to go to the movie, one hour drive, one hour drive back, five hours. And if you eat lunch somewhere, I mean dinner somewhere, then another five minutes. Six hours, Aram say, we spend that six hours. Two hours chanting, the mind, you know. Anyway, that's what you do. Okay, understood? Any other questions? I have a question, not really related to the context, but I remember when you showed that picture of, uh, you know, one-eyed person coming when the person is dying, you know, uh, I remembered a question that I have since my childhood. If some, of, some of you might laugh. When I see darkness, I, I see, I get scared with ghosts, even uh -huh. today. You know, I never asked, you know, anybody from spirituality or any scholar, do ghosts actually exist? Yes. You know, if you can answer that, it will be really nice. You know what is ghost? You have a body, right? This is God's body. Like in the winter, I have not. he is wearing a jacket. He has two. Inside, he has a shirt also. Likewise, our soul, we have two bodies. This is God's body. At the time of death, it is reduced to ashes. But inside there is one more subtle body. It's called in Sanskrit Sukshma Sarir. Sukshma Sarir is comprised of uh, mind, intelligence and false ego. Manas, buddhi, ahamkara. It's called a Sukshma Sarir. At the time of death, you have billions of lifetimes. But only one mind, only one intelligence, only one, one false ego. That's why some children, they are scared of heights. Some children scared of darkness. Some children scared of water, hydrophobia. Why? Ian Stevenson is Andy, he says, that's how he came to the research. Why children have these fears, phobias? Small spider, when it comes into the room, will you be scared? It will get into your shirt, will you be scared? Some children have seen it, you know, Small mosquito comes to here. One day in America, one lady met with a big accident. She crossed the lane. She went to the Ambul Glen. Trucks came, bomb, bomb. So much huge accident. Still, luckily, she was saved. They asked her, what happened? She was driving with the seat belt on. And the insect came out, a spider came onto the steering wheel. What will you do? You are driving. And a spider, small spider, like Indian spider small, it came out of the steering wheel. What do you do? Right? She became so panic, she forgot that she is driving, she tried to get out of the seat. She seat belt is there. She became so panic, she crossed the wheel. Why? Something happened in the past life. That's so scary. That is how Ian Stevens and Gordon Research finally connected to Vinkash. <laughs> so, when you coming, point, you're coming to your point, so at the time of death, this body is gone. That uh, mind, intelligence, and policy of that subtle body, soul goes with the subtle body. So, Swetha Sarita Upanishad says, like air takes the flower is there, flower has a smell. Air takes the smell, aroma of the flower, Spirit soul, you know, subtle body takes a little soul, go to the next body. Whatever your desires, you go to the next body and enjoy. Sarsam. Thank you.
That spirit is called soul plus somebody is called ghost. So the Quran says at the time of death, usually, not always, for not maybe for devotees, that spirit is there at the time of death. That's why in India they put a deepam in a small area. Where all the person dies, they put a small lamp. He is there actually. In the subtle body. We call it ghost. But when somebody commits suicide, Krishna said, nature determined that you should live in this body for 70 years. But what you are doing, you are abusing the freedom. You are abrupt landing at a day of 20. You have 50 more years. Already you stay there. You are hungry, you don't have mouth. You are thirsty, you don't have tongue. And at the time they look for body. Get into, don't worry, you chant. You will not you wear this, you will not be hunted. Wherever there is a holy name, which Quran is there? Eh, Bhagavad? Sorry. Shukta Goswami says, there won't be any ghosts, demons. So what we tell when child is born, we tell them, Prabhupada Hare Krishna Mantra will put it there. That's it. Even if you are not there, you are working in the office, the mantra goes. Obviously, either now, here. I go to so many houses. When I get to the house, I can, that, that, I can feel that. Mostly. So, you know, if you do the same gift then again and again here, when somebody comes in, you feel very good. Wow. Go to the bar and restaurant. How do you feel? It's very clean. Right? The ether is impure. The ether is impure. But when you chant, Prabhupada went to one court once. I don't know why, but Prabhupada is very impure. Ah, Prabhupada was to give a lecture. Prabhupada will chant. Prabhupada will keep them for one hour. And he give a lecture. Court means you speak all the lies, you know. Bar room. So the ether is polluted. Then to purify it, and you chant it, we will be purified. I can't have so much on this, but anyway, the ghost, yes. So they will wait. They will enter into your body, we have nine holes. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine holes, Navarandra. They should be always clean. That's why, as soon as you go to the toilet, number one, that's number two, you have to take bath. This is what the first thing we tell our Hare Krishna devotees. As soon as you go to the toilet, you should take bath. If you have, if you have to go to the toilet, number in the office, you come home, take bath. Body becomes unclean. And number one, you have to clean the parts clearly. You have to keep the, this nine holes clean. Then they cannot empty. On the top, like Nagvis, this thing. And always holy name, they are scared. For whatever the you, wherever you go, if they are there, they will run away. How many stories you want I can tell? Again, it's always a, uh, whenever I discuss this with others, it was only a question of belief and non-belief. Did you see it? Did you, did you? Uh, so, you know, one of the questions, uh, as follow-up I have is, the saying, they can enter you. My question is, when I am there inside me, right, my soul is also there inside me. Right. Uh, how does it allow anyone else to enter inside? Me? Okay, you'll be amazed. You know how many souls are there in your body? At least I know, right, one supreme, not supreme. Okay, I'll tell you. Soul. In this body, there will be worms. Each worm is there, they are your roommates. <laughs> Third kind of Srimad Bhagavatam, Kapil Muni says, when mother becomes pregnant, small, small worms, they will come and uh, the, the tender body of the child, they will be you know, poking, pinching. The baby cannot speak. The mother will be drinking something hot, some tea, something like that. Immediately, it creates fire. It's beautiful. Anyway, don't worry, there will be many souls. This is bacteria, you know. We have, we eat yogurt. It generates good bacteria. So they are in your stomach. 